Hey folks, Christy from Shark Pixel here, and I just wanted to talk to you a little bit more about the power of actions and wanted to show you in real time how quickly and easily you can retouch a portrait of somebody if you let Photoshop do most of the grunt work for you. So what I'm going to do is come over to my actions palette over here and I've got my Shark Pixel portrait in a pinch action and all I'm gonna do is go ahead and hit the play button. And so what this will do is it's going to create a bunch of different layers with different things that are being applied to each one of those. And then once the action is finished, you get this lovely pop-up that gives you a couple tips and tricks about how to retouch portraits and, and that kind of thing. I'll go ahead and press continue here. I'm going to go ahead and hold down Option and Command on my Mac. And for PC, you would be looking at Alt and Control. And I'm just going to click one of these little disclosure arrows right there. What that's going to do is it's going to consolidate all of the different folders that I've created within this action. So as you guys well know, and you've watched it with your own eyes, I haven't done anything to this image other than press one button to run an action. So that's what's so incredible and powerful about these tools. So if I go ahead and zoom in here, we can come in and take a look. If I look at the first folder that I created in this action, um, I'm gonna go ahead and hold down Option. You can see that not only have I smoothed all of the skin, I've also auto-generated a mask that has selected all of the skin tones and made those areas in the mask white and everything else in the mask black. So I don't even have to paint in the skin smoothing in this action, which is really, really a time saver, that's for sure. If there are, you know, a little things I can see that in her lips here, um, they have gotten a little bit fuzzy as well, probably from the skin smoothing. All I have to do is clean up this mask just a bit. So I'll hit the B key to, to activate my brush tool. And I'll go ahead and hit X so that I'm painting with black. And I'll use my bracket key to just increase the size of this brush. And what I'm doing here is just painting the skin smoothing off of the lips. Um, but that's it. Other than that, it looks really, really great. I've also created a blemishes layer here so that if there's anything that you see that you need to fix, you can. I'll go ahead and um, choose the healing brush tool so that I can just get rid of one or two of these blemishes. But she really does not have very many blemishes at all. So then we can go into the eye whites. So here we've got our eye whites and I'm going to just use my brush again 30% opacity, maybe we'll do 60 because I want to be a little bit heavy handed here and kind of show you the effect in a quick amount of time. So what I'm doing is I'm on my eye whites folder and I'm just painting in with white over the eye whites. That is all you have to do once you've downloaded this action. So um, again, just painting in the eye white areas, smoothing them out, that kind of thing. Very, very simple. So now we'll go to blue-green iris or brown hazel iris. So I guess these are a little bit of green, but it's also brown hazel. So let me start there. Again, just painting with white. We'll just choose 40%. And all I'm doing is just painting in those eyes to make them sharpen and really pop out of the image. Now if I wanted to, I could add a little bit of blush, so I'll use my brush again. Let's say 20% opacity and let's make our brush really nice and big and very, very feathered. Make sure that your hardness is all the way down on your brush. And we'll go ahead and just add just a little bit of blush there and right there. You know, if you think it's too much, Let's go ahead and just pull the opacity back on that layer to make it blend very nicely. And then we can move up to highlights here. And what I'm going to do here is just slightly paint under the eyes to try and lighten that area. I'm gonna paint with 40%. 
and I'm just going to paint a little bit right under the eyes to try and brighten that area. Perfect. If I wanted to, I could come in here and contour under her cheeks. Maybe what we'll do is just contour around the side of the face just a little bit. She doesn't need very much contouring at all, so I'm just doing that to kind of bring in that, the, the side of the face over here. And now if I wanted to take some of the yellow out of her teeth, I could do that very easily. And if I just go on and off the eye icon here on the side of this layer, you can see what the teeth whitening have, has done. And then the last step is the lips. I'll use my brush tool, let's say 30%. And we'll come in here and just paint over those lips to just give them a little bit more saturation and make them pop just a little bit more. And that's it, folks. Other than cleaning up a couple of these stray hairs on the sides, I'm done. So if I come down here to my eye icon next to my background layer and I hold down my option key on a Mac or Alt key on a PC and I click on and off the background layer, you're going to be able to see the difference that that one single action has been able to do and apply to an image. And all in less than five minutes. So you can see this is a perfect example of how to make Photoshop work for you so that you're not the one sitting behind the computer for hours on end creating all of these different layers. If I go ahead and expand all of these groups, you can see all of the layers that were created when I recorded this action. So you can see how much actually is in here, but it's just nice and neat and hidden behind all of these arrows to make it look nice for you. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you guys go and download that action. It will definitely save you lots of time. But other than that, research actions, figure out how to use them, and they will definitely help you in the long run of your career, I promise.